Good afternoon, everyone. Ireland baking above 32 degrees Celsius. France frying above 40 degrees Celsius. Oh, my bad. That's a 1921 temperature map you're looking at. Also, the highest recorded temperatures in France to that point, July 13th, 1921, 44.8 degrees Celsius in the shade, measured no less. So when we see the heat wave, 45.9, just barely a degree over that. That was measured on a rooftop. Do you think that would make a difference? And another mysterious fact, 2003 French media showing you the hottest temperature ever recorded in France at, wait, 44.1, but I just pointed out in 1921 it was 44.8. So when I talk about facts like this, you'll see why some of my videos are being suppressed. Look at that. 20 comments, 86 likes, 4 dislikes, and 0 views. And you'll understand why I've written this book with my co-author, Climate Revolution, The Grand Solar Minimum, Understand, Prepare, Adapt, and Thrive. Because the information I'm trying to present is not getting out there to everybody. Climate Revolution is a must-read for understanding sun-driven climate as we progress deeper into this Eddie Grand Solar Minimum with weather extremes leading to global food scarcity, high food prices. And this book also describes expected changes just like you're seeing with these inverted jet streams equatorial vortex, and how to survive and thrive during future challenging times with practical preparations. The link's in the description box below. You cannot miss the headlines globally. Again, when it's a heat record, front page everywhere, all the time, multiple days. Snowing in July? Wait a second, Mongolia, where's that on the front page of the newspaper? Heat wave 45.9 degrees Celsius. Gargue le montre. Southern France. Let me put you the dot on the map here. Easier for you to discern where it is. This is your target spot here. As we march through the social media feeds, you'll start to see people picking up on it, talking about historic. So where's this location? And then take a look at the temperature station itself. Let's drop in on the thermometer location. Oh, it's on top of a ceramic tiled rooftop. I wonder if that would skew temperatures at all. Do you think? A couple other hot spots. Record absolutes beaten in France. That 44.3. We need to take a look at that because 1921 temperatures were 44.8. So you can just scratch that one off the map. And that 45.1, 45.9 are in dispute because of the location of the temperature gauges. Can't have something on a rooftop reflecting heat, and then expect that to be counted as the record temperature. Really, those things need to be covered. And a rundown here of the nouveau, or the new records, broken. But anything that's 44.8 or under was beaten in 1921, so we can just scratch those off. And then the ones in question as well. And the reason I'm even looking at this, Laurent, thank you for sending me this heads up. It says, bonjour, David. For a week now, it's been 24-7 full hysteria on all French media, French TV channels about the June heat wave. Here for you are a few examples of what really happened during the past century. Now, I never would have found this, and there were several links which are all listed in the description box below, and I encourage you to do your own research. The previous historical data is fascinating. The images that accompany the stories, 1921, the historical data goes back to 1851 for the temperature records, but somehow... Why would you even look back that far? I mean, shh, we have satellites now. Why would you even look back in 1850s, 1900, 1921? That's just, ah, that was too old stuff. They just used thermometers back then. It's kind of the attitude that's been given to this whole thing here. And especially he points out the highest temperature up until that point, 44.8 degrees Celsius in the shade, 1921. So this whole thing about hottest ever in the country is now in dispute. And also with the history of the climate, really good reconstructions on the maps here. So take a look at the heat wave map. It looks very similar to the heat index that we're seeing today. It's baking. Even look over at Ireland, pushing 32 degrees Celsius. Oh, it's a heat wave in Ireland. Middle East, hot. Anywhere you see that super light pink, that's the exact same area. This is July 12th. Let me move in. Look how hot it got. We're seeing the exact same thing. It's almost like a copy-paste from 1921. They could read the same headlines. and You could say the same thing. But this time it's to get you to pay a global tax. Why are we not going back 100 years in history and looking to see, is it a 100-year cycle, perhaps? Because Metro Paris, the Weather Chronicles of 1921, and then you can break this down by year. You can go 1922, 23, 24, you can go back to 1880, take a look all the way through. 
Now I grabbed a couple snippets here for you. I highlighted in blue, July 13th, scorching heat wave maximum of 44.8 degrees Celsius in Borg. And get this, this is the highest value measured in the shade in France. Again, how did they miss this? I know, I had to use Google, but I did. I had to use Google Translate to get the French translated, but still, if I can find it, the French media should have found this. And also another really interesting snippet. This is on the Seine River here, people cooling off, 1921 photo. And get this, of the entire year itself, the year 1921 was the hottest and the driest Paris since the beginning of weather records in 1851, up to that point. And now we have extreme heat and scorching winds dry again do you think it's a cycle because when we see business insider even carrying this article talking about the heat wave but then pointing back to the 2003 at 44.1 degrees celsius and even avignon at 44.3 degrees celsius they missed 1921 as well not sure how that happens in these big media outlets and paul max it Putting down the hammer here as well. Bad CO2 causing the 2019, oh wait, same time record heat in Paris, 1947. However, could that happen? We'll take a look at that chart in a second. But also other overlooked heat waves in addition to 1947. So the largest heat bubble is 2003. You'll see that lasted about 18 days during that duration event. 1947, just a little bit lower in count there. But then look all the way over 1983. Why is that not mentioned? Why is 1976? Why are none of these mentioned in any of the news reports? It's all clustered around the five-day events, four-day events, three-day events, way over there. Way less intense heat waves. Left all the links in the description box below so you can do your own research. But again, Paul Maxit, I'm going to white out on the uh, graph that he put together here. Red is 2019, blue is 1947. Now the media is squawking about it's the hottest ever, it's the hottest month ever, it's the hottest time ever, it's the hottest planet ever. And especially they're focusing in on France. Hottest. Here are the numbers so far. For the entire month of June into the first day of July. And even the forecast in the lighter pink is below the 1947. Historical heat at that time as well. It is a cycle. At least the European WMO comes out with a little sense instead of hysteria. Talking about as his heat wave unfolds, showing you where it will be. You're looking for those light pinks again. Local temperatures above 40, avoid fire hazards and take care of your health. Thanks, that's great advice. Not hysteria. Well done. That's the way news should be. So again, we come back. Heat wave 45.9 degrees Celsius. Absolute heat record beaten in France. But it was taken right here. Zoom right in on that close up. This temperature station on the top of a hot roof. Now you know how hot things get when they're absorbing direct sunlight. And the UV changes in the sun are now making things even hotter that are absorbing. So this heat record really needs to be investigated. And that temperature station needs to be under a box. What are you doing leaving that out in the open like that? You talk about climate gate. That's it in front of you. That is bad science data gathering right there. It's the same as putting these types of instruments at the end of a runway or a landing area of an airport or in the middle of a parking lot. And videos like this, guaranteed they're going to be throttled back. I mean, look what YouTube's already doing over this last one. Talking about where areas are becoming more habitable during the grand solar minimum. 20 comments, 86 likes, 4 dislikes, and 0 views. So it's got at least a thousand views with no recording of such viewing. So with all the censorship going on, including in Amazon, we decided to self-publish this book here, Climate Revolution, The Grand Solar Minimum, Understand, Prepare, Adapt, and Thrive. It does take into consideration all the changes historically back through the last five grand solar minimums going back to the year 2000 or even further back to 3600 years before our present date, taking a look at the climate, what the changes are, what you can expect, how society moved, the economy moved, and food prices rose, and this whole social fabric of our society started to wither and rip apart because of all these changes. We're seeing it again. Myself and Bill Porter wrote this book to give you this information and we are self-publishing because the censors at Amazon would do the exact same thing that the censors over here and YouTube are doing. And you see the censors in Facebook and Twitter and everywhere you put this information out, it's being censored. So now we have to self-publish this. 
I just don't understand why they don't want you to know the true state about the climate. Yeah, global taxes are one thing, but I personally believe in they're trying to stop a global panic for when people wake up to the reality that this is gonna be a 20 year event with never ending food price rises and nobody's prepared. Thanks for watching, hope you got something out of the video. You're gonna to have to prepare and one of the ways you can do it is grow your own food. Tonight's sponsor for the video, trueleafmarket.com, heirloom and organic seeds for any grow zone on our planet. Links in the description box below. Also, they have free grow guides, just like we hyperlink out through our book to all the different information to build your own greenhouses, create your own water catchment. There's so many things that we went into with injection of CO2 by mushroom growing into vegetable growing greenhouses. Many different fixes for you to be more sustainable and take back your food security sovereignty. I'll see you next video.